Good afternoon, you guys. It's Brandon, also known as Slyther. Oh, that's embarrassing. It's all my uh, dirty laundry. Um, <laughs> so I've been up since like four this morning. I'm sorry there hasn't been a lot of content recently. Uh, this past 48 hours has just been absolutely crazy. Um, basically, I was freaking out because my supervisor told me, oh, hey, um, so your uh, manager, or like, I guess our boss, was uh, thinking about like who should stay on the project. And I'm like, what? Like, I, I just got here. I spent literally thousands of dollars to come here. I'm, I'm not just, I, I can't move. I have a 12 month uh, lease on, on this place. I was freaking out and I heard that and then I get a call from my uh, employer um, who like manages my uh, contract and they're like, hey, your timesheets haven't been approved. I'm like, what? Like, what, what does that mean? And they're like, oh, well, if they don't approve them on the consultant side, like you, you're not gonna get paid. What? <laughs> so, I, I heard all of this Wednesday, this is Friday now that I'm, I'm making this video. Um, I've gotten maybe seven hours of sleep in the past 48, uh, if that wasn't already visible uh, in my other videos. Not that I was sleeping fantastic anyway, I kind of need to go to the chiropractor. But, yeah, it was insane. I talked with my manager this morning, got everything situated, I'm I'm fine, I'm there, I'm good. Uh, you know, we're on the same page, figured out expectations and stuff like that. It's, it's not like like I, I did anything, but just onboarding and you know, the amount of time that that takes and stuff. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm, I'm set there and I've been trying to log in to the consultant uh, timesheet thing because I have to keep two timesheets, one for CBS and one for the um, consultants. And I couldn't log in to the consultant one for like the whole month that I've been here. Um, because initially, <clears throat> they're like, oh, here, try this password. And that didn't work. So then they reset it. And then they reset it again. And then they check the back end. And then they reset it again. And probably eight different times, uh, we found out about halfway through that they had my date of birth wrong. So part of the password that was being generated was the date of birth. <coughs> um, so they said they fixed it on the back end and then they reset it and it still wasn't working. So I was trying and y you know, the, the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and just praying that it works. Um, so after the end of August, like they cut it off, they just freeze all the hours and you can't put anything in. Fortunately, um, my, uh, I don't even know how, oh, what the relation is. It would be like, um, the HR manager for the consultants, I, I guess. Uh, she put in my hours uh, manually in the back end um, prior to all of the, the cutoff, basically. Um, so yesterday, I tried the um, password with the wrong date of birth, and it actually worked, even though they said they fixed it. So apparently I was born in 1980, you know. <laughs> So, I fixed all of that, everything is situated, but there has just been so much anxiety sitting in um, these past couple of days. Like, not, not only have I slept, uh, eating is, you know, hard when you're just that stressed and crazy, like, oh no, what's going to happen? I didn't know if I was gonna have to move back to California or what was going on. Um, but it looks like everything's settled. Finally, um, I should be getting my first paycheck on the 15th. I have like just enough money and food to make it there without like going in debt. It's a very humbling experience, um, but I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. 